Welcome to Puff's Kitchen. Today we are preparing homemade spice blends that will take your festive cooking to the next level. We'll be making two incredible spice mixes, pass food and, and garam masala. These will add warmth and richness to your vegetable and meat dishes alike. Let's dive right into it. start with Pans Furan, a super easy holy spice mix that's loved in both Nepal and Bengal. Pans Furan literally means 5 spices and it's a beautiful blend of cumin, mustard, fenugreek, fennel and nigella seeds. When fried in oil or ghee, these holy spices releases incredible aromas, adding a warm earthy flavor to Nepali veggies, lentils and so much more. Now let's go through the ingredients. Traditionally, all five spices are used in equal parts, but I like to use a little less fenugreek to balance out its bitterness. Into this little plate, I'm adding two tablespoons of cumin seeds. These add a warm, nutty flavor that gives dishes a deep, earthy taste. Two tablespoons of nigella seeds, tiny black seeds with a sharp, slightly onion-like flavor, adding a subtle bitterness. Two tablespoons of fennel seeds, sweet and aromatic fennel, adds a licorice-like flavor that balances the spice mix beautifully. Two tablespoons of mustard seeds, they bring a pungent, sharp kick and a bit of heat. And finally, one tablespoon of fenugreek seeds, slightly bitter and earthy. Fenugreek is known for its digestive benefits. You might be wondering how to use punch foran. Punch foran is super versatile. You can use it for tempering vegetables, pickling and flavoring lentils. When cooking with punch foran, fry the spices briefly in hot oil until they start to pop. This releases their full flavor, but be careful not to burn them, as they can turn bitter if overcooked. To store it, I'll transfer this spices mix into a little airtight jar and give it a good shake to mix everything evenly. And there you have it, your homemade punch foran. Store it in a cool, dark place. It will be ready to add that extra flavor punch whenever you need it. That's how easy it is to make punch furan. Next, we are making garam masala, or as we call it in Nepal, bara masala. Traditionally, it means 12 spices, but it can include more and the quantities can vary. We use this rich aromatic blend mainly for meat, dishes and vegetable curries and it's perfect for enhancing your festive meals. Here are the spices for my bara masala mix. 60 grams coriander seeds, 60 grams cumin seeds, 25 grams green cardamom, 15 grams mace, 15 grams black cardamom, 20 gram nutmeg, 25 gram nigella seeds, 25 gram star anise, 30 gram cinnamon sticks, 10 gram cinnamon leaves, 20 gram cloves, 50 gram fennel seeds, 30 gram black pepper, and 30 gram fenugreek seeds. For a smaller portion, just scale down the recipe. And I will also roast and grind 300 gram cumin and 300 gram coriander seeds for a separate blend. The key to great garam masala is roasting the spices. This boosts both the flavor and aroma. First, roast the larger spices like, for example, cinnamon sticks and star anise separately from the smaller ones. Heat them in a pan on medium low heat stirring constantly for about 4 to 6 minutes until they are hot but not burned. Transfer them to a plate and let them cool. Now it's time for the smaller spices. Roast them for 2 to 4 minutes until you see light smoke or smell their fragrance. Mm -hmm. 
Then spread them out to cool as well. While the roasted spices are cooling down, I will take advantage of the hot pan to roast the coriander and cumin seeds. This process for about 2 to 4 minutes until they are smoky but not burnt. Remember roasting time vary depending on the quantity and heat so adjust accordingly. Low heat is best to prevent burning. You could also sun dry the spices but roasting adds that lovely smoking flavor and helps preserve the spices longer. Now that the spices have cooled, it's time to blend them. Start with the larger spices and blend them halfway. Tearing off the cinnamon leaves if needed. Then add the smaller spices and blend until it will become fine powder. If your blender is small, do this in that way. Look at that, the garam masala looks and smells amazing. I have also blended the roasted coriander seeds. Here it goes in the plate. <laughs> now my little helper is here. Naya just arrived from preschool. She loves to help me in the kitchen and she's super curious about the things around her. Naya goes to the mess here to go to the Let's blend the cumin seeds together, okay? It's the cumin. This is cumin. Wow! You can put Naila. At least of all, Mr. Mr. Ralada. Cumino. In Portuguese, it's cuminus. Cumin. The monkey. Takin to ta ta ta. A fine powder you can sieve it but I like it just as it is now we'll transfer the spices to airtight jars and label them homemade garam masala can last for about six months if stored in a cool dark place for even longer freshness you can keep it in the fridge to preserve it its aroma and flavor Wow, the kitchen smells amazing, doesn't it? This spice blend will surely make your festive cooking special. Whether it is a flavorful vegetable dish or a rich meat curry, these blends are perfect to add warmth and depth to your meals. Naya, my little helper did an amazing job blending the cumin seeds. What a fun dance in the kitchen today. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Pub's Kitchen, like this video and hit the bell icon for more tasty recipes. See you in the next video. Bye.